Do you know the story of the lost colony of Roanoke Island in the US? This may seem to have nothing to do with this amazing new discovery, but something about this Roanoke Island always gripped me with a haunting fascination. Roanoke Island was one of the 16th century original colonies of the Europeans in the New World, near present-day Virginia. And something happened and the colony was lost. Everyone in it died or dispersed to the wild or were attacked by Indians or something. And when people returned to its site, all they could find was a carving on a tree spelling out this haunting word, Croatoan. No, sorry. Croatoan. Yeah, that's the one. Croatoan. That's the name of a nearby island. Probably the last refuge those people sought. But nothing is known about them afterwards. And the lost colony of Roanoke Island is one of the strange mysteries of the Americas. Now, what happened recently? This amazing discovery of humans nearly more than 100,000 years before presently assumed is like the Roanoke Island on a massive scale, on a godly and haunting scale. And if you're into American history or human history or anthropology, this is extremely big news. And the news come from near San Francisco. So in a fascinating research that's slated to be published in Nature magazine, an Ice Age site in San Diego, California preserves 130,000 year old bones and teeth of a mastodon that show evidence of modification by early humans uh, we guess we don't know but the site has been dated with uranium and the research seems pretty stable and pretty solid so it's really amazing now to put things into perspective people originated in africa uh, close to present day Ethiopia or wherever and we thought until recently that they moved to the Americans 30,000 years ago the the latest this was the assumption people assume that in the ice ages there was a lost landmass between America and Asia named Beringia and the early Asians somehow migrated to the Americans there slightly between 25 and 15,000 years ago. But until recently, people said, yeah, I mean, the earliest is possibly 30,000 or something. And there were two competing theories about this. The first one proposed that people basically started coming 19,000 years ago or something and then those goddamn immigrants kept on coming and that was that. Others suggested that there were already pockets of people in the Americas around 21,000 to 40,000 years ago but now this date is unbelievable. 130,000 more than a hundred millennia more than the extreme latest assumptions this is really mind-blowing and of course with this kind of uh, date I need to put it into context for you so people 
domesticated dogs 135,000 years ago. Language seems to have evolved 132,000 years ago. So this is how quick it was. People started moving out of Africa around 100,000 years ago. So it's an extremely quick movement. And then we think that and people started building the first huts or wherever 140,000 years ago. So this is like groundbreaking. Almost as soon as they crawled out of Africa, people or some sort of intelligent beings seem to have crossed into America, settled in this really comfortable camp by San Francisco and just lived there and disappeared. So this brings to the mind many speculative theories, you know. I'm sure that this discovery will be discussed a lot more in the future. But people are going to say, yeah, that's the big feat. Not people. I'm, I'm banking that at least one person is going to make this theory. And, you know, maybe it's not that silly now. I'm not saying that this proves Bigfoot or anything. But if people came 135,000 years ago to America and then other waves of people came out maybe 40,000 years ago, they would still find maybe pockets of this earlier Ur-Americans living in forests or whatever. I mean, judging from the dates, I just told you maybe the evolution of the language wasn't even complete by then. So, if the first Americans, that is to say 130,000 year old people survived and the second Americans around 40, 30,000 years ago visited uh, their habitats and if they were alive I mean these would be wild men monstrous men they would be extremely far removed from the second generation of American incomers so I could see a credible base for the Bigfoot myth right there and it's just I mean, this news just dropped on my lap like 10 minutes ago and I'm just recording on the fly. Um, it could be that these people could not e even be anatomically modern homo sapiens. You know, there were some other kinds of people back then, like species level divergence. There was a relatively unknown group of people called the Denisovans in Asia, for example. So maybe this Ur-Americans 130,000 years ago are closer related to the Denisovans than to modern Homo sapiens. Or who knows? Who knows? I mean... And also, like, the things that happen between... So, okay, people settle America 135,000 years ago. Then 70,000 years ago, for example, we have evidence of an amazing, dire genetic bottleneck in people living today. So something happened, a volcano, a, a massive ice age, something. And geneticists claim that at one point, the populations of humans on Earth dropped to something like 15,000 people. And they re-expanded from that bottleneck. And then the second wave of people in America would be survivors of this great dying. And if they saw the earlier Americans, it would be a whole different world. Really, my, my go mind goes into all kinds of possible stories or encounters. I think there were four or five different waves between these periods. 
it seems that people were much more mobile than we assumed and maybe they followed these extremely abundant herds of big mammals and they had a really easy time crossing continent level distances i mean i mean elephants could migrate so it's migration itself isn't what's uh, fascinating about this because a- animals migrate already but the evidence that some sort of people made this and it may just be people as we don't know them is really mind-boggling and it's one of these really fascinating things that make reality so much stranger and mysterious than people assume oh it's a uh, it's my publisher calling i have to say goodbye now and i will talk to you soon bye actually it's not goodbye i just finished my call but i haven't finished the things to say about this issue so before we properly say goodbye what do you think about this incident what else do you think might be lurking in the unplumbed depths of human history i always found this amazing time between the emergence of anatomically modern humans which is something like um nearly 200,000 300,000 something years ago and the birth of civilization which is 10,000 years ago if you squint so if subtract 10 from 200 you have like 190,000 years of complete mystery who knows what happened there and that's what makes anthropology really mystifying for me and that's what makes this discovery really important let's see how things hold out maybe there will be an error in the dating and this thing won't be so old but maybe possibly further research will verify this discovery and we will have to rewrite uh, our history of the americas i mean it's just so fascinating deep time wherever you are friends fellow cozemanites have a nice time nice day and keep plumbing the depths of mysterious time have a nice day and goodbye